At UCLA, Carrie Johnson is trying to work out which body shapes are guaranteed to drive us wild. She's photographed hundreds of different bodies and asked hundreds of test subjects to rate them. As her subjects view different bodies, she scans where they look with an eye tracker. Just look right in the middle, please. The dot shows where her subjects are focusing. The longer they linger on one spot, the bigger the dot grows. And you can see that he's looking all over the place. He spends quite a bit of time looking at the person's face. He's looking at her shoulders, up and down her body. He does look at the woman's breasts. That's not surprising at all. Our male participants, we would expect to look there more than our female participants. A woman's breasts clearly signal that she's past puberty and is probably able to reproduce, so it's no surprise they draw the eye. But they're not the only targets of a man's attention. Recent neuroscience has identified a part of the brain that's intensely active when it's looking at a human body. Carrie Johnson wanted to know just what excited this part of the brain. It turned out to be a tricky question to answer. If you're looking at a real person walking down the street, there are any number of things that could distract your attention away from the things that we're interested in as scientists. The person might be wearing a very low-cut dress and draw your attention to that region of the body. Uh, the person could be wearing jewelry. And all of those things muddy our ability to interpret what might be governing your judgments of attractiveness. To focus purely on body shape, Carrie designed a series of gray mannequins with no faces, no breasts, no jewelry, all alike except in their body proportions. Then she asked subjects to decide whether the shapes were male or female. Man. Woman. Carrie soon noticed a pattern. No matter what shape the body was, viewers looked most often at the hips and the waist. He had a very clear decision here. It was very easy for him. He looked at the waist and hip region, judged immediately that it was a woman, and looked very quickly to that category. This body is a little bit more ambiguous, and this scanning back and forth might imply that he is just not as sure about this body. 